Hey guys, Friend of the Night here, bringing you a new episode of Gold Guild SMP. Um, so, there's been a lot of stuff happening on Gold Guild, and later tonight I'm going to be doing a live stream. Of course, the live stream would have been on by the time you guys watch this episode, which I'm planning for it to come up tomorrow. So it would be Saturday, so the live stream would have happened yesterday. <laughs> All these technical things, but regardless, so there's going to be stuff that's... So stuff's going to probably happen by, between now and the live stream so um hopefully nothing gets too confusing like uh, if you watch this video after watching the live stream and there's stuff that's in this video that was in the stream that wasn't in the video i just want to give you guys that kind of warning uh, before you wa fully watch this all the way through so but but there has been so much stuff having that spawn and i've been secluded up here in my little hidey house i'm in my own little stronghold that i've been slowly but surely building up to um fit my knees and then and then I'm watching other gold kill members episodes and apparently spawn has been taking these huge drastic changes and I'm just not keeping up so we're gonna do a spawn tour before anything else but first let's sleep because it, it is nighttime as I think you seem to know so ah that's a good rest good rest um so let's go ahead and head to spawn Um, oh, yeah, uh, by the way guys, I don't know how this happened, but somehow my portal has somehow redirected itself that it's connected to Aura's cave home. I think Aura built this portal and then now somehow my portal has redirected itself to connect. I think if I rebuild my portal, it might fix itself and go back to sp nether spawn. I mean, it's not like it's too far away. I mean, it's just, it's just a little upsetting that... I am all set up like, like my uh, way I'm set up is, I can go to uh, when I go through my Nether portal, I end up in that portal, but now I don't end up in that portal anymore. So, um, so now I have to. I'm gonna see if I if I break down my portal and replace it, if that'll fix itself. Um, but I mean, if it won't, it's not a big deal. I just hope the only reason I haven't done it yet is because I don't want to make things worse. So. There's been so much things happening here at spawn. I'm just gonna I I'm just gonna go from one end to the other. So let me go run over to the far end and we will start the tour all the way at the end and then go I don't which direction am I facing? South. So we'll start from the southern side of spawn and we'll head north. So that sounds like a good plan to me. So anyhow, here's the area I fenced off for my little beach project. <clears throat> I still haven't been able to mine out some sand. I've placed some sand down, but it's still um, a work in progress. And I've built that lighthouse. I still need to fix it. Like I don't like the design. I, I don't know. It looks a little bit flat. I have to, I'm going to have to look at some other people who built Minecraft lighthouses before, and maybe I can find something that would inspire me to fix that lighthouse. Why am I holding a diamond sword? I don't need a diamond. Oh, hello. Okay. Bye. Anyway, let's head back up here. And show off some of the new structures. I don't know if this thing, if I showed this thing off or not. I have no idea what it is. It's just like this random hut. Oh, there's new stuff in here. Coordinates to an ice plane. You're really selling the coordinates? Coordinates to desert. Okay. He is selling coordinates to areas, and I don't understand why, because personally, coordinate, in my opinion, coordinates should be free. Here's my farm sh supply shop. I think I've already showed it off, so I don't think I need to show it off again. There's nothing new. The night, the night broadcasting studio, I need to do another recording. Okay, how do you do some of this stuff? Like, I've been trying to figure out how to put stuff like that. Skull and crossbones designs and whatnot. There's some star. Like I've been messing with the ink so much, so many times. How the heck do you make a skull and crossbones on a banner? I don't know. 
this is the redstone shop. I think it's now officially open, so we can buy some stuff. I'm going to talk to Jonah. I think I want to see if I can start a partnership with him in a way. Oh, but this building reminds me right here. I just saw it in the corner of my eye. Oh, this was my fault. Um, oh, we got we're getting a haunted house. Crap, someone stole my idea. Crap. I was going to make like a haunted house and like an Anyway, I was going to do something in the Nether Hub and someone stole it. But I didn't really share cuz it was going to be a surprise, but I already had a surprise project going on, so Oh well. But yeah, a creeper snuck up on me. I was like I was going to build something here, so I was like I was uh, I was like in my inventory menu and all of a sudden I heard a hiss, so I got out and I started running, but it was too late. Like I avoided damage, but I couldn't stop the creeper from exploding. I hate creepers so much. I hate them with a passion. Anyway, um, here's the wood shot from the new member. I can't remember his name right offhand. Urgh! But, um, it's like Lapis Warrior, I think. I don't know. Anyway, his link will be down in the description with his name. So if you don't know his name right now, um, you can just look. It'll be right next to his link. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, but I haven't met him on the server yet. And he was like totally, he caught everyone off guard. Linky just let him in out of the blue. Like, we usually we vote for our members to come on, and he just came in just out of the blue. Now, I can't make a judgment if this guy, on this guy because, I, like I said, I haven't met him. But it kind of irritates me because there's been lots of people on the wait list. I've had people message me, and I've, said, and I've gave them the same answer every time. It's not up to just me. It's up to all the members, and there's a few rules you have to follow. And then, and then it irritates me every time, like, there's been a couple times members have joined and it just seemed like we, were, we weren't going with those rules. So it's like, well, crap, what am I actually telling these people? Uh, anyhow, so the, here's Aura's shop, block shop. Um, let's take a, she's fixing up some of the glass. Um, you know, I could lend her some glass if she needs it. I have plenty of glass at my place. I think I have too much glass, actually. So, and here's, um... What? Linky? What? What? Um, is Linky taking control of the food market? Or is he going to turn this into something else? Hmm, I do not know. I do not know. Lucidity stuff. What claimed for orange in the... For the GG exchanged? Okay. Alright, well, I don't understand it, but we're gonna move on. We're just gonna show off some of the new plots, so, whatever. Lapis Warfare, that's his name. It's the Lapis Warfare stuff. Do not touch. I know it doesn't say do not, but it sounds better than don't. And Lapis War- Horse Stables? Hmm. I wonder what these horse stables are for. Who cares? Um, all my, my, all my horses are, are in their own stables, like, my horse and my donkey are being taken care of by Linky, and my, um, other horse is being taken care of in my barn, which I still have to finish construction of, but whatever. Here is Blitzinity's Sandstone Resort. Oh my gosh. So Blitz ha is now competing against me in the apartment complex. Ugh. I hate competition. Anyway, let's just take a quick look inside. I think I showed some of this off last episode, but let's go ahead and do a more, kind of a more detailed look. So, let's see. All his rooms cost diamonds, which might be slightly cheaper than my place, I'll, but I'm going to be changing my prices sometime soon. So, hang on. Big room. So he can sit so he sells it monthly or permanently. That's good to know. But that but here's the thing. Here's the thing that my place has an upshot over his. And I hate to announce this on camera, but here's the thing that my place has over his. You do not need to buy your own furniture. His room kit includes a bed, two chests, and a crafting table. But my apartment already includes a bed, two chests, a crafting table, a furnace, and some and a, and light. So you do not have to buy, when you buy your room, that comes part of the room. You do not have to buy more than you bargained for. 
Um, let's go over here slightly because there's a couple shops I've missed. You know what? We're going to do a loop around. So we're going to come back that, w that way. So we're just going to loop around because I know there's stuff, stuff down here. So we're just going to make an O. So why don't we go ahead and do that. Let's just go down here. This used to be my old path down to my old my old house. What is this? My bench, CM. Area claimed by CM Brockman. Don't touch. Opening of the new building shop soon. Okay, so this is CM Brockman's future plot. That's good to know. Oh, no. Are they really moving in close to... Plot for underground... Okay, we're going to have a subway system. Holy sweet baby Jesus. We're like moving so close to where my old... If I was still living here, I'd be part of Spawn by now. Do we have to call this town Spawn? This is an honest question for you guys. We're always calling this area Spawn, but why are we calling it Spawn? I mean, I know this is where we spawn, but is this going to be the only town? Is this going to be called Spawn Town? Are we going to build other towns elsewhere? Or are we going to name this like Gold Guild Village or something? Can we na can we please just not call it Spawn all the time? All right. Let's take a look here. Orange is Packed Ice Shop. Oh my god. I'm getting tired of all this commotion about packed ice. I don't think there's anything valuable about packed ice. There, It's just ice. In the end of the day, it's just ice. Claimed by Aura for Republic Water Fountain. For Public Water Fountain. Like that over there. Uh, oh well. Public Water Fountain. Okay. Well, it'd be nice. It would be nice to see a water fountain instead of a building. It, it would help raise the mood. Blitzendity's Kit Shop. Okay. We're not even going to look inside because it doesn't look finished. But I think it, what it is, is basically it's going to look like a piece of armor, which means I guess you can buy some armor pieces. Uh, what, whatever. Orange apples. Orple store? Orple? Orples. One iron per ten. Oh! He's selling apples. Oh, oh, I see. I see what it... Golden apple? He's selling golden? Okay, so now I have competition again. My infirmary sells golden apples. Now I have got, But now he's selling golden apples. Let's see what his price is. Four iron per. So four iron per golden apple. I might have to check my prices. Um, to be Aura's pet shop. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Is there anything up here? Uh, let's go ahead and take a check. Quick look. Oh, um, doesn't look like it. No, doesn't look like it. Let's go back down. Let's turn around and look here. Wait, what? Puppy food, bones, kitty food, fish, hay. Okay, she's selling hay. Hay. Chicken. And piggy chow. Oh my goodness. Now I'm compete. I'm. My farm shop. Now this is competition against my farm shop. Ah! So much competition. No! I don't like the competitions. It's supposed to be an ender pearl. I don't have one in my inventory to compare, but okay. Oh, this is the end shop. Let's say he moved his end shop. So that's where his end shop is now. Let's see what, what is this? What is this? What is this? This seems to be a common door design. I don't understand it. I don't like this door design. It looks ugly. It looks like a dungeon door. And it's like, ugh. Um, Lapis Warfare food shop. Okay, well, luckily I'm not in the food market, but if he's, like, focusing on stuff like carrots and whatnot, then I'll have to worry about it, but it doesn't look like he's, it doesn't look like this thing's opened quite yet, so I guess we don't have to worry too much. Let's head back up. This is a new path. This is Town Hall. If you remember last episode, I mentioned that I might do a live stream building this Town Hall, but I had a talk with Linky, and... It's supposed to be the decision of the Gold Guild members, like, community decision. We just haven't gotten to talks yet, which is why nothing's been done about it yet, so. Whatever. This town hall is never going to get built. Unless someone builds it, in my opinion. But, 
I'm not gonna stand. I don't want to do anything too rash. Sandstone restaurant, resort restaurant. Let's see if this thing's opened. Aha! So this is gonna be more competition for the food market. I'm so glad I'm out of the food market because the food market seemed. When I was in the food market, it seemed stable, and then I noticed that it was getting unstable. Like I just noticed that something was going off, and so I so I chose to remove myself from it. And now I'm glad I did because clearly things are going berserk. Like, the, the, food, the food market cannot stay in one place. It's been constantly moved, and now it's changing ownership. Um, Richard um, opened up his arrow shop, but he's not been the most active when it comes to stuff. Like, he, he, I don't, I can't remember when the last time he's been on the server, or even the last time he's done anything with his shop. The last time he's done anything with his shop was on camera, and I haven't seen him do another gold guild episode since then nor have i seen him on the server um i mean i can't understand he's a busy guy he works on mods i have a couple mods from him installed for my um furnos mod survival series so i can understand if he's busy this die shop's now open one diamond 16 iron eight iron equals 10 die that's I don't know if that's expensive or what. I mean, some dice can be, some dice might be hard to get, but still, it's it's die. What 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 am I gonna use die for? Not even I know. Oh, and Aura. By the way, guys, I think Aura changed her channel name, so I'll try to update it in the description. But I don't know if she's calling herself Aura anymore. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna keep calling her Aura for now. But if if she's no longer calling herself Aura, I apologize. But, um, I think what this is gonna be is she's making a newspaper stand. Um, but she thinks that she might, but she's having some second thoughts because she thinks this might be too much work. But here's the thing. A newspaper stand can be, or cannot be, well, it can, it can be competition for my night broadcasting channel. It could. However, I could partner with her newsstand and I can help her develop newspapers and it and we can like do some kind of little partnership and we can both profit so I might talk to her about this at a later date but I th but considering how I also own like a new studio we can do a partnership and do something together and like conquer the news industry yeah I just said that now here is what we're gonna do for the live stream. Since I since I understand that Lee Blitz was gonna do stuff and he has a much nicer build than my apartment complex, we are going to refurbish the apartment complex. We are now going to um, renovate it, and we're going to go, so I've marked down an area blocked off so it's a construction site. The main reason is just so I can keep working on it on live stream without having to worry about mobs killing me. Because I, I hate it if mobs came inside while I, was tr while I was trying to work and then just were like, Hey, I heard you were working on the apartment complex. Mind if I eat your brains out while you're doing that? I would actually mind very much, so I'm not going to. So I am, I'm going to edit things. I'm not going to change too many things. But let's remember, when this thing was built, there was only like three buildings that spawned. And they were all wood buildings. So at the time, this was supposed to be an impressive build because I used pure redstone to build all, most of the 70% of this. As if you can remember, I'm... Oh, hello! Okay. Now that he's taken care of, let's go take care of this guy before I continue my little rant. So this was built purely with redstone mechanics. Pistons, a lava stone generator. I hate these things. I hate these things. I hate these bloody things. Oh, now a villager zombie's going after me. Oh, that reminds me, Orange Apple wants to do like a collab on Gold Guild eventually, like with a with a with a villager spawner. Since I have like that huge villager spawner near spawn, which I still have to do some stuff with. But um, yeah. So. Anyway, so at the time, it was the most advanced construction project on the server because it was made purely with redstone mechanics, which sped up the process, and it was probably the most advanced build at the time. 
but now it's not the most advanced build. It's not the most modern. It's time to modernize it. It's time to edit it. It's time to change it. It's time to make it better so people will want to live in it. And let me check my room price because I can't remember if I sell it for... Oh, my God, these things are not working right now. Room cost, 81 iron. Yes, I sell... A I sell a good sized room for cheaper than Blitz. Blitz's rooms are slight. I think Blitz's rooms are slightly smaller than my average sized rooms. I'm like in between of his large rooms and his small rooms. So I think I sell my rooms at around the same price as he does. It's just he has a better looking place than I do. So I, if I want to like make my place looking a little bit better, a little bit neater. I have to re-edit my room, and when you purchase a room, you purchase it for life. That was just a set thing. You could stay, this is like a hotel apartment complex, so you can stay a night free, as, but, or you can purchase a room if you please. So, my prices were average, like, it doesn't matter. Leia. But whatever, we're going to edit, we're going to make it better, and maybe we'll keep our customers that are already in. Maybe they won't remove their rooms. Um, cause you could, you always had the option to leave the room. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but, um, you don't have to, but, um, if you, if they ever did, they could leave, but let's see if we can edit this place so they won't want to leave. So that's what we're going to do in the live stream later tonight. So hopefully this construction project would be done by the time you're watching this episode. So, Yeah. Anyway, that's most of the things that's happened on Spawn, and apparently I'm having lots of competition. Indirect competition, mind you, but competition nevertheless. So, we're, I'm going to have to start stepping up my game here at Spawn. I need to finish the projects I have started working on, so I can work on other projects that I have planned. I need to step up my game, guys. And that's just going to have to happen. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Gold Guild SMP. I'm going to be heading back to my base to do some final preparations for um, for the construction project live stream. That's going to be started in like 45 minutes or so. I still have to do a couple more recordings, but um, we're going to try to get as much done as possible. So I'll be sure to see you guys later, hopefully in the live stream as well. If you missed the live stream, don't worry. I'm going to be posting some highlights onto YouTube, onto the YouTubes later, so don't don't work, fret yourself too much. It will, it, will, it will get onto the YouTubes eventually. But I'll see you guys later. You have a wonderful day. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Bye bye guys.